Well, for those of you who don't know me, I am Zoe, I'm a personal trainer and online coach. Today we're gonna to be doing a 30 minute body weight workout. We're gonna incorporate a little bit of cardio, a little bit of strength, so we'll get the whole gamut involved. If you guys want, you can go ahead and grab a mat, otherwise you may just wanna do this on a little bit softer floor than a hardwood. Um, today we're gonna to be doing four different circuits. We're gonna do them all two times through, and we're performing each exercise for 50 seconds followed by 10 seconds of rest. So within that 50 seconds, if you need to take a little bit of rest, or if you really wanna amp it up and pick up that speed, totally fine either way. This workout is up to you and you get to make the most of it. So we'll go ahead and get, just get started with a warm up. We wanna prep that body. So let's go ahead and go into our arm crossovers here, waking up those shoulders and that chest a little bit. Super excited for this one. All body weight so you don't need any equipment, which is always good. Definitely make sure to pump up that music if you'd like to make this workout a little bit your own. I like to do these without music so you guys can kind of personalize it and pump up the jams. Go ahead and let's go big arm circles here. Just going one direction to start. Good, and go ahead and switch. Awesome, you guys. All right, next we're gonna go into toy soldiers, wake up those legs a little bit. So you're gonna reach opposite arm to opposite leg. I'm a little bit sore today, so I definitely need this. You should be feeling this in the back of the legs, in your hamstrings. You don't actually have to touch here, but if you can, Go for it. Just alternating. Good, you guys. All right, let's take a nice wide stance. We're just gonna come into alternating side lunges. So sit back, weight on one heel, and then go ahead and switch. Just alternating it out here. You're just really looking for that stretch on the inside of the thigh on that straight leg. You may feel it elsewhere in the legs as well. Good. All right, next we're gonna go into some body weight squats. Take about a hip width stance and then sit back like you're sitting into a chair here. Hips back first and keeping that chest lifted, squeezing those glutes on the way up. All right, so we're gonna go, get, go ahead and get started with that first circuit in about 30 seconds here. We're gonna start with walkouts. I'll just show you, we're gonna go walkouts. So you're reaching for those toes, coming down. No push-up, just coming to plank position and then coming back up. Then you're going to be doing a close grip push-up. So you're going to get on the floor, hands right underneath the shoulders, elbows back towards the back of the room. If you need to, you can drop down um, onto your knees. Then we're going to go into high knees just like this. If you need to, you can march it out. And then last one, burpees, everybody's favorite. Coming into a plank, coming back up, right? You can always step back if you prefer. We're gonna get started in five, four, three, two, and one. Walkouts, reach for those toes. Come down into that plank and back up. Coming all the way up to standing and then back down. If you'd like, you can add a push up here. But remember, we do have those close grip push ups next. Good, you guys. Speed is up to you here. Take it as fast or as slow as feels right today. This first exercise is definitely one that we're using to prep that body a little bit. Good, last 10 seconds here. In five, four, three, two, and one, good. Finish up that rep, meet me down on the mat. We're gonna go into those close grip push-ups. In three, two, and one. Either way, if you can do those full close grip push-ups, that's great. If not, you can always sink to those knees. Just make sure you're creating a really straight line from head all the way to your toes or to your knees. I don't want to see those hips sagging like this and I don't wanna see 
that butt way up high in the air, okay? All right, keep wrapping them out. You got just over 20 seconds here. Looking good. Remember that hand placement is right underneath those shoulders. Those elbows are going back directly, pointing towards the back of the room. Good, last 10. Don't forget to breathe. Inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. In three, two, and one. Perfect. Come on up, meet me at standing. We're going into high knees or marches. In five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, get those knees up nice and high. Looking good, you guys. Like I said, if you need to, you can march. This pace is up to you today. All I ask is that you give it your all. Good, we're getting that heart rate up here. Push. Shut you guys. Last 20 seconds. Can you get those knees up even higher? Push. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Take a breather. We've got burpees. Oh, everybody's favorite. Got a love-hate relationship with burpees. All right, three, two, one. Hop up. Reach for that sky. Come down. Either hop those legs out, or you can also just step back like this and then step back in. You can also mitigate that jump if you'd like to make it a little bit more low impact. Whatever works, just push. Just over 20 seconds. Last 15, let's go. In 10. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Take a breather. All right, we've got 10 seconds. We're gonna do that circuit one more time, and then we get to move on. All right, starting with our walkouts, go ahead, reach for those toes. If you need to, you can always take a break and then get right back into it and join us when you're ready. Especially if you're not used to adding that cardio in with the strength. Do what's best for you. Good, you guys. You can bend up the knees a little bit here if you'd prefer. I like to get that nice stretch in the hamstrings. Again, if you want to make this a little harder, add that push up. Got 10 seconds left. Last time through. In five, four, three, two, one. Meet me on the floor. We've got those close grip push ups. In five, four, three, two, and one. Close grip push ups. Let's go. Elbows towards the back of the room. Take whichever modification or whichever style works best. Good, you guys breathe. Either way, I want to see that nice straight line. Nice neutral spine. Looking good. Almost done with these push-ups. Last time to run push-ups, I promise. This is it, so really give it your all. You've got 15 seconds left. Almost done. Last couple reps. Get them in here. In five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Coming up. We're going high knees. All right. In five, four, three, two, and one. High knees. Let's go. Like I said, if you need to, take that march. Whatever works. Either way, you've got 30 minutes for your workout today. It's not super long, so I really want you to push yourself 
and give it your all. Good, you guys were almost to that first break. Hang on, 20. Good. Hang on, 15 seconds here. Let's go. Get those knees up higher. In five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. Whew. All right, we're going into burpees. Oh, nice job, you guys. Let's go. Three, two, one. Burpee jump up and back. Let's see it. You guys have 40 seconds until that minute breather. Give it your all. If you need to, take that jump out. Either way, just keep moving. Fifteen seconds. Let's go push. In ten. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Take that break. All right, catch that breath. Grab some water, you guys. I know I'm feeling it already. Whew. Oh, no worries if you're late. Good to see you, Sam. <laughs> nice job, you guys. All right, we're going to get started on that second circuit. Just a little bit here. All right, so <laughs> let me catch my breath. So like that last circuit, I'm going to show you, preview what you can do, and then we'll go ahead and get started. So first exercise, squat jumps. You're going to squat down, come up, pop up into a jump. If you need to, you're just doing bodyweight squats. Then you've got alternating reverse lunges. So you're creating 90 degree angles with those legs, and you're just alternating. And you come nice and wide going into an alternating side lunge here. And then the last one is we're gonna lie back. You're gonna bring your hips up, reach that heel up to the sky. We're gonna hold for 25 seconds and then you'll switch, okay? We are starting with squat jumps in five, four, three, two, one. Squat jumps, let's go. Good, like I said, if you need it, you're just coming into that body weight squat. If you feel any pain, don't push through it. You may feel like it's hard, that's okay. But if you're feeling pain, take a modification that works for you. Good, you guys, 15 seconds here. Hang on. Almost to those reverse lunges. In five, four, Three, two, and one. Shake those legs out. 10 second breather. Whew. Finding the front of that mat. In three, two, and one. Step back. 90 degree angles with both legs. Getting that back knee right above the floor. You're just wrapping it out here. You're alternating which one you're stepping back with. Looking good. This is your chance to get that heart rate down a little bit, but still get that strength working. Good, you guys. Just over 20 seconds here. Doing awesome. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. All right. Nice wide stance, alternating side lunges. So you guys can see, I'll, I'll face the stretching nice and wide with those feet. In two and one, sit back, come back up. You can put your hands wherever feels comfortable. I always put them in front of my chest. My clients always ask me if they have to do that, no. You can put them on your hips, if that feels better. Whatever works for you. 
Biggest thing I want you to think about though is really sitting those hips back, almost like you were sitting back onto like a bench or something. You still wanna make sure that that knee isn't going too far in front of the, those toes, if at all. Good, you guys. Just wrap them out here. Looking awesome, 10 seconds left. In five, four, three, two, and one. Lay back on that mat. We're coming into that bridge position. You're gonna reach up with one foot. In three, two, and one. Lift and hold. Nice and strong. This is one that definitely seems a lot easier than it is once you actually do it. Trying to keep those hips even and nice and high. Squeezing those glutes. Good, you guys in four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and switch sides and lift and hold. Don't forget to breathe. Reaching up that heel nice and high, up towards that ceiling. Trying to keep as stable as possible. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good rest. Shove you guys. Back to the top, we're going back to those squat jumps. In three, two, and one. This is your last time here. Give it your all. Try to see how high up you can reach in that jump. Looking good. Just over 30 seconds. Really push. Almost done here. If you need it, take that modification. 20 seconds. Let's go push. Shove you guys. Last 10. In five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, shake those legs out. All right, finding the front of that mat. Reverse lunges in three, two, and one. Go ahead, step back and alternate. All right. Get that breathing down a little bit, a little bit slower. Told you you were going to be doing some cardio today. You can still fit an awesome workout in 30 minutes with only body weight. Good. Just about 20 seconds here. Try to get that, those nice 90 degree angles with those legs in 10, nine, last five, four, three, two, and one. Good, all right, you guys, going back into our side lunges, nice and wide in three, two, and one, sit back and switch, good. Remember, weight is coming into that heel, not into the toes here. All right, heel, not toes. So your weight shouldn't be too far forward. You want your butt back like you're sitting back into a chair. Good. Just about 20 seconds here. Looking strong. Keep it up, just roll right through these reps. Last 15 seconds. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Shake it out. Coming down onto that mat for that single leg bridge. Getting set up here. In 3, 2, and 1. Reach that foot up to the sky. We've got 25 seconds on this side. Hold. Trying to keep nice and stable. Don't move an inch. Squeeze those glutes, those quads. Engage that core here. 
in five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Go ahead and switch and lift that other heel up to the sky. Good, you guys. We're not. We're almost to that next water break here, so just hang on. Last little bit. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good and rest. Take that breather. Grab that water. You guys are halfway through this workout. Actually, we're even more than halfway. So. You're in the home stretch. Got a minute breather here. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing okay with that cardio? Thumbs up if you're loving it. I know my teeth are gonna be super red after this one. All right, so again, just like last time, I'm gonna preview these moves, let you know what you're looking after, and then we're gonna get started in about 30 seconds here. So. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna act like we're jumping rope. Just with body weight, just like that, super fun, right? Then we're gonna go sit back into a squat and I want you to just punch it out, acting like you're punching a bag, but I want you to squat that whole time. Then you're gonna come down into a high plank and we're gonna do plank rotations. So you're gonna open up towards one side and then you're gonna go ahead and switch and the other side. If you need to, you can hang out in that high plank position. And then last one we're gonna do, is boat pose. So you're gonna lift that chest, get those heels lifted, knees bent. You can hold here, or if you need a modification, hold behind those knees. All right, going in the jump rope in three, two, and one, and jump rope. Feels a little funny, but no one can see you. It's fine. Maybe your cat or your dog. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We're just jumping rope. Bringing us back to elementary school days. <laughs> Try to reach up nice and high. Add those little circles with those wrists. Really get into it. <laughs> you got just over 10 seconds here. In five, four, three, Two and one. Nice, come down, squat. We're punching it out. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Get all that quarantine aggression out. <laughs> really sit back, wait in the heels here. The speed of those punches will dictate how fast you get that heart rate up. Really push. Good, you got this. This is a great low impact cardio move right here. Doing awesome, hang on. Pick that speed up a little faster. In 10. Last, five, four, three, two, one. Good, hit the floor. Going into our plank rotations. In five, four, three, two and one plank rotation reaching up that hand up to that sky i like coming onto the sides of my feet here if you prefer though you can hang on that high plank position or if you need it even come down bring those knees down for a modification good got 30 seconds left looking strong trying to keep those hips lifted that whole time. Don't forget to breathe. Just over 10 seconds here. Hang on. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Sitting back, coming into that bow pose, channeling your inner yogi. We'll start in three, two, one, lift that chest up, bring those heels off the ground. If you'd like more of a challenge, you can come into a full V-sit, or if you need, go ahead and put those hands right in the back of the knees. That'll make it a little bit easier, okay? Good, you guys. 
Slow down that breathing. Try to stay as stable as possible. Really lift that chest so you can engage that core. 20 seconds here. Almost done. That's nothing. You got this. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, you guys rest. All right, we're going back to the top. One more time through. In 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Jump rope. All right, this is the last time you have to jump in this workout. Give it your all. Almost done with cardio for the day. Good, you guys. Try to get as high as you can. Just over 20 seconds left. Almost done. Last 15. Reach, get higher. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Shake those legs out. We're coming into punches. Last cardio move of the day right here. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Get that frustration out. The fact that we've been home for weeks. Get all that anxiety out right here. You've got this. Just punch it out. Just focus on that movement. Good, you guys. 30 seconds. Looking good. Really punch. Last 20. Let's go. A little faster. Last 10. Squat deeper. Let's go. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, shake those legs out. Coming down on the ground. Plank rotations. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rotate it out here. Just coming onto the sides of the feet, making sure that those hips are raised nice and high the whole time. If you need that modification, take it in that high plank or high plank on the knees. Looking good. Just over 20 seconds left. Last little bit here. Really focus on engaging that core. All those obliques, all that good stuff. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good, almost to that next rest. We've got five seconds left. Going into that boat pose in three, two, and one. Lift that chest and lift those heels off the ground. You've got just about 40 seconds here. Hang on, stay strong. Let that breathing come down a little bit. We're gonna finish up with some core and then you're done for the day. Getting so close with that workout being complete. Don't give up early. Last 20 seconds. Remember, take that modification if you need it. Take that rest. You can always come right back. Meet us right back in that exercise. Got 10 seconds here. Lift that chest up. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Grab that water, you guys. Take a little bit of a breather. We're gonna finish up a little extra core today. And then you guys get to be out of here. We can stretch and then you can be done. You won't have to think about your workout for the rest of the day, which will be even better, right? <laughs> All right, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that last circuit. It's only three exercises this time. 
all core, no cardio, so we can let that heart rate down, come down a little bit. First one we're gonna go into is hip dips. You guys don't have to start this quite yet. I'll just show you quickly first. So you're gonna come onto your elbows, into an elbow plank, and then you're gonna reach your hips down to one side, up into that elbow plank, reach other side, so it'll look like that. Then what I want you to do is you're just gonna hold a high plank, so hands right underneath those shoulders, and you're creating a straight line from head to toe. If you need to, you can drop those knees down. And then the last one we're gonna do is dead bugs. So you're gonna get onto your back. You're gonna create 90 degree angle with your legs. You're gonna have your hands right up above your chest. You're gonna reach opposite arm and opposite leg down, and then meet back in the middle, and then switch. So that's the dead bug. We'll start in about 10 seconds here with those hip dips. Last five, four, three, two, and one. We have just a couple of minutes left in this workout, you guys. You're doing great. We're gonna get those obliques involved here. If you need to, you can always hang out in that elbow plank position. Whatever feels best today, as long as it's still a challenge, then I'm good with it. Good, almost done. Last 10. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good, we're going into that high plank. In five, four, three, two, and one. Just hold right here, engage those quads, engage that core, and breathe. If you need to, like I said, just drop those knees down, but I still want you to create a straight line from head to knees. Take whichever modification works. You've got just 20 seconds left. I don't wanna see those hips drop down. You shouldn't be feeling any pain in the low back. If you are, bring those hips up a little bit. Last 10. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good, we've got dead bugs. Coming back onto our back. This is kind of like um, rubbing your belly and patting your head. <laughs> so it requires some coordination. So we'll start in three, two, and one. Dead bugs. Reach opposite arm, opposite leg down. I want you to think about keeping that lower back into the mat the whole time if you can. Good. You're keeping those arms in that, um, when they come back up, they're right over the chest, okay? So you're coming right back to that starting position and then switching. Good. Last 15 seconds here. Really focus in, bring that low back into that ground and into that mat. Got this. In five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. We've got one more round and then we get to stretch it out. We're gonna come back into those hip dips. In three, two, and one. Go ahead, elbow plank, adding that hip dip. Just alternating here. Good, you guys. Got 30 seconds left. Like I said, you can hang out in that elbow plank if you need a modification here. Good. Almost done. Last 20 seconds. Get those obliques going. They should be fired up. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job, you guys. Going into that high plank. In 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hanging out in that high plank position. Almost done for the day. Focus in here. Try not to move. Keeping your gaze down, those hips relatively lifted so you're not arching that back at all. 
We're letting those hips dip. Got 30 seconds. Almost done. And breathe. Just focus on staying as stable as possible here. 15 seconds left, you got this. Don't give up early. In 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, you guys. We've got dead bugs, and then we're done. Go ahead and get set up here. 90 degree angle, hands over that chest. We'll start in three, two, and one. Reach opposite arm, opposite leg down. Come back up, meet you in the starting position. If this is your first time doing dead bugs, might feel a little weird at first, but just keep going, you'll get the hang of it. You guys have just over 20 seconds left in this workout. Last couple reps. Good, almost done. 15 seconds here. Keep that low back in that mat the whole time. That'll make sure you really engage that core and work those lower abdominals instead of the hips. In three, two, and one. Good, you guys, you did it. Let's go ahead and bring those feet together, coming into a butterfly stretch here. Let that heart rate come down. You guys did awesome. You made it through that body weight workout. Thanks so much for being here. You did great. Go ahead and let those knees just drop towards the floor. Let that heart rate come down and relax. All right, let's go into a seated spinal twist. You're gonna hug one of those knees and try to keep a nice straight, straight spine. Rotating towards that bent leg. Let that breathing come down. Relax a little bit. And go ahead and switch. Thank you so much for meeting with me today, for coming and getting your workout in. I hope you liked this body weight workout today. Definitely thought it was a fun one. I always like sneaking in a little bit of cardio when you can, especially with body weight movements. All right, let's go ahead and come up to a standing position and just reach for those toes, hinging at the hips, coming into a forward fold. Feel free to come down into ragdoll if you'd like. You can sway a little bit. And slowly roll on up. Go ahead, bring one arm over, stretching out the shoulder, your lat. Good, you guys. Shake it out here. Go ahead and switch. You guys did awesome. And clasp those hands together. Let's go into that chest stretch here. My favorite. And adding a couple neck curls if you'd like, getting into those traps a little bit, especially if you're sitting all day. All right, nice job, you guys. Thanks again for being here. I really appreciate your time. Um, make sure to follow me if you aren't already, Zoe Lauren, Z-O-E-L-A-U-R-Y-N, on Instagram and um, on my website as well and on YouTube. I post all of these workouts that I do live on Facebook on my YouTube and my website as well. So usually they're there by the end of the day. So please feel free, share with other people that you know you'd love it. Otherwise you can always go there and repeat the workouts as you guys see fit. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for being here. You guys did awesome. Appreciate you.